Sodor is surrounded by beautiful blue sea. It has fields of green and sandy yellow beaches. There are rivers, streams and lots of trees where the birds sleep. There are windmills and a coal mine and docks where visitors to the island arrive. The island also has lots and lots of railway lines. Who's that puffing down the track? It's Thomas. Hello, Thomas. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the island of Sodor. James and the Green Giant. One day, the fat controller came to inspect the branch line engines. He found that Oliver and Duck were in fine working order. But Donald and Douglas looked very worn out. I know you don't mind hard work, he said, but you can't be everywhere at once. You need some help on the branch line. Oh, thank you, sir, said the twins. They were grateful. Ah, well, I have a plan, the fat controller told them. Only the way to make the arrangements. The next day, Thomas and James were in the yard when the fat controller arrived. Good morning, Thomas, James. I've got exciting news for you, too. A new tank engine called Graham is coming to the island. Oh, here he comes now. The new engine puffed along the track and into the station. He was bright green and puffing with pride. This is Graham. I ordered him to help Duck and Oliver on the branch line they have been eating lately. Hello, nice to meet you, puffed Graham. On Graham's side, there was a little sign that said, Little Giant. Little Giant? <laughs> what kind of a name is Little Giant, laughed James. Is it because you're a giant, but you shrunk down? <laughs> <laughs> Tom and Luke stand for any nonsense. James, shut the hell up! It's his first day! And he shouldn't be treated as a... retarded git. Graham, I'm sorry for what he said. Oh, I told about one bit. I used to work at a sweet corn factory called Green Giant. Before it closed down, every engine would tease me every single day. <sighs> but, um, I have to put up with it. But I don't mind. Very good, Graham. We need an engine with that kind of attitude around here. But first, you need to take some all the coal carts to all the stations. The best snowstorm coming tonight. Yes, sir. Goodbye, Thomas. Goodbye, sir. Bye, Graham. Bye, Graham. Whistle, Thomas. Bye, Shrimpy. James! Puffed Thomas. Soon, Graham collected the coal trucks and he puffed it on as happy as he could be. He is soon starting to learn his way around the island. Thanks to all the yards and the stations that appeared on his journeys. He was having a wonderful time and couldn't wait to get started on the branch line. Even though he was working well, James was still doubtful of him. But most importantly, its name. Later, Graham had shunted Duck's coaches into place. James was there resting. He decided to tease him. Hey! Green Giant, he teased. Have you seen any visitors recently? No, puffed Graham. Then maybe it's because they want to scrap you, he teased. Graham felt hurt and puffed sadly away. Then the fat controller came to see James. James, I want you to collect an important goods train in the arts and take them back here tonight. It's heavy, so be careful, said the fat controller. So James puffed away to the coal depot. At the coaling depot, he told Oliver all about his special while he was waiting for his coal. Don't you want any help, James? asked Oliver. Graham should be finishing his coaling routes by now. He shoved. No way! Huffed James crossly. 
I don't need help from an entry of a silly name problem on this boiler. I'll be fine. Don't say I did not warn you. Cold Oliver. James didn't even Soon wait for his James call. arrived at the goods yard. He buffered up to the goods trucks and was on his way. James was looking forward to delivering his trucks. Now I'll show Graham I can be useful than him any day, he chuffed happily. All was going nicely, and the trucks didn't even cause trouble once. Then there was trouble. James puffed harder and harder, he ran faster and faster, when he could feel the trucks starting to pull him back, then he began to feel colder and colder in his boiler. I feel chilly, wailed James, and he had to stop halfway up Gordon's Hill. You've used up all your coal, the driver told him. I have to go and telephone for help. Graham was resting in the yard when suddenly lightning drove up. I've got a message from a fat controller. James is out of coal and he wants you to go and help him. I'm on my way, whistled Graham, and he steamed off to Gordon's Hill at once. James felt very foolish and he was surprised to see Graham puffing towards him. Hi James, I've come to help you, thought Graham happily. James snorted. What can you possibly do to help me? He said crossly. Well, I bought you a sack of coal, and I was asked to help you up the hill since Edward's not available. But I guess I'll be on my way. Wait, Graham, whistled James. I'm sorry for teasing you. Can you please help me up the hill? He puffed. I can't do it on my own. I'd be delighted. And soon, with James' tender filled with coal, he and Graham together pushed the guts train all the way to the main station yard. We thought you could manage trucks on your own, James, laughed Max. James for weekend, laughed Monty. Oh, pfft laughed James. But then worse to come. James, you have said rude things about Graham today. He today has proved to be very reliable and helpful. Well, I'm sorry, sir. Thank you for helping me, Graham, he said grandly. Yes, well done, Graham. You are a really useful engine. Thank you, sir, puffed Graham happily. And I think he is going to love it on the island of Sodor. What do you think?